Okay, today we got the Through Night TH01 headlamp. And I actually got two of these. This one's a neutral and this one's a cool white. And we'll go ahead and get the box out of the way real quick. Comes in the regular Through Night box. This one is the cool white box. And everything came well packaged. It's got the instruction booklet down in there. That is the instruction booklet part, I promise. And then the headlamp, the headband's all bumped up. The headlamp was actually in the holder when I got it. And this sits down over the light in there and holds it in place. And then it's got the extra silicone rubber holder that comes in the box in case that one ever breaks. It's got a little card here. I guess you call it a card. It's just a thing telling you that you need to remove the or screw down the end cap for the first use it's got your USB charging cord with it and then it's got the two extra o-rings and your extra USB port cover in there in case those will break and it's got the thank you card and a little silica package down in there to keep everything dry. Go over these specifications real quick. This is the XHP 50 emitter. Uh, comes with the 1100 milliamp 18350 cell. Orange spill reflector in it. Charging current there, normal, as most of them are. Um, Output runtime tested with 1100 milliamp, 18350. And at the moment, I'm questioning them. I, I'm not positive, but I think maybe they got their specs listed wrong. They are checking into it right now. It just, these runtimes seem more like a 18650, you know, like a 3000 milliamp cell or something, but. They are supposed to let me know something on that. They're double and redouble checking, but my lumens come out real close. They're showing 1500 lumens, and I got 1475. This is tested on the cool white. High, they're listing 450. I got 437. Medium, they're listing 85, and I got 81. Bow, they're listing 9, I got 8, and on Firefly, they're listing 0.6 lumen, and that's the same as what I got. 4,000 CD, 126 meter beam distance, 1.5 meter impact resistant, waterproof, IPX8, 2 meters, 52 grams, got the battery and head strap on it, 64 length. 33.6 by 28.5 it says it's got a pocket clip which it don't I don't see where you could put a pocket clip on it even to be honest um, anyway all the accessories I just went over minus the pocket clip come with it and let me get this one that's not on the head strap here that one out there um, this is the cool white but the modes are a press and hold second to a second and a half you get your firefly there and then just a click for off a click for on you press and hold cycle through low medium high and a double click takes you to turbo and then 
three clicks takes you to the hidden SOS and then if you want to turn the headlight off in medium mode it does have mode memory so when you turn off medium mode it'll come back medium mode and all that that memorizes low medium high all the anodizing on both of these there wasn't a scratch on them there may be now because I've had them outside that was just dust there uh, but the anodizing the etching or branding all that stuff was really well done on both of them the what little bit of knurling it has down here on the ends is done really well um, it's got the XHP 50 as we mentioned up there orange peel reflector down in there and it's got AR coated lens I don't know if you can see that purplish reflection off that light but it does have an AR coated lens the indicator light comes on blue uh, don't come on in firefly or moon but that will turn red once your battery starts getting low and then when your battery is fully depleted this will blink red and your LED will blink three times up here and then when you're charging this will be red and when it's fully charged it'll go back to blue and if you get the cell in backwards or don't have a cell in or you know, anything that's not right with the charge and this will be purple and then a USB port here and you can charge this light from you know computer wall wart uh, any car USB 12 volt just you know you can take a cell out put on traditional charger if you want to so there's a lot of ways to charge this little old light and I guess you already see the headband has the strap that goes over the head so that won't be sliding down on your head and the holder here holds the light really well it takes a good bit to turn it so you know the light won't be flopping around and bouncing and sliding down every few steps if you're out hiking or walking you get where you want it and it'll stay put but I've got all the drop testing uh, water testing I even threw one of these in the freezer and let it get down well below freezing actually it got down to like 25 degrees or something laying up there in the ice I'll have all that in the video the still pictures of the light uh, still beam shots outside with both of these and the TH30 through night which is the XHP 70 light about 3300 lumens and all that will be coming up in the rest of the video once again that is the through night TH01 I'll be back with the rest of the video shortly okay I stuck this in the freezer you can see the ice on it I just threw it up there in my ice maker but it's done warmed up a couple of degrees before I got the camera turned on. It was at the freezing mark. It's been up there about 35 minutes. The ice is still stuck on it there. <laughs> but we're going to go ahead and turn it on. Everything looks like it's working. Turbo mode. SOS. So it will work after it's frozen. Okay, so we're going to do some water testing now. Go ahead and turn this thing on. Stick it in the water. Go through the modes. 
Turbo. There's the SOS. Mode. And I'm doing this in here again because it's not that cold outside, but it is raining. I know this is a water test, but I know I don't have to test myself in the water. I'm waterproof. I'll float. <laughs> but I just wanted to get a little bit of test in here in the water and everything. And I'll go open this, make sure no water's in it, and then I'll come right back. Okay, so I opened it, and as I've seen on many of them, that water gets around that boot right there, it'll get up to the edge of the boot, but it did not penetrate the light itself. I don't know how we can see down in there, but there's no water down inside that USB port. It gets around the edges there, and as far as it gets and I also took this off of here and looked at it there's no water down in there I don't think that's water no that's some little scratches in there the cell didn't show any signs of water on it and I looked down in the tube with a light. Didn't see any indication of water down in there. So we're going to say that this one passed the water test. I'll be back with the rest of it. Okay, going to do the drop testing. Turn that down a little bit there. Put that on low. And I'm going to be going from about five foot right top of that window there that's where I'm going to be dropping from I've got the plywood but again that's not for shock absorption or anything that's just to keep these lights from getting so scuffed up because I do give away a lot of these rechargeable lights after I reveal them but here we go go ahead and get this drop test done here One, two, and three. And that probably went off the camera, but this is the same light we started with. So, three drops from about five foot and let me turn off my other little headlamp here go through the modes turbo SOS moon mode off on turn it off in medium there Mode memory still working, so it withstood the drop test that.
Okay, we got two of these. I got the I put a piece of tape so I know which one's which. This is the neutral and this is the cool in the THO ones. And I only brought one other one out here since I already got two. This is the through night TH30. And this one I believe is right around 3300 lumens if I remember right on turbo and I'm gonna be comparing that with these two smaller ones and we're gonna go ahead and start out with the neutral on a THO1 get all this stuff situated here okay I'm gonna start out on moon mode with this THO1 Get my other headlamp turned off here. That's about 16 inches in front of the camera, somewhere around there, on moon mode with that THO1. That's low mode. Probably ain't picking that up too good on that old camera. That's medium. And I'm set up at 50 yards from the garage down there. If my camera will focus, there it goes. That's your high mode at 50 yards. Let me get this TH30 on here. Get that up on turbo. That's your TH30, full blast, 3300 lumens. And that's TH01. And I believe this one on the neutral is around 1360. So there's 3,300 lumens versus 1,360. TH01, TH30. TH01, TH30. And let me turn that off a minute. Turn this one down a little bit. Get my other one out here cool white. I got to get everything turned where I can find it here. Okay, this is the cool white on TH01. That's your TH30 on turbo. TH01 and this one was, I believe it was 1475 lumens versus your 3300 lumens. Both these little TH01s are holding their own against that bigger light for sure. They definitely hold their own against it. Not quite as big a coverage area, but putting some light out there nonetheless. And let me get this TH30 put up and we'll compare the two TH01s here. Okay, this is your neutral TH01. That's your cool TH01. Neutral. Cool. Neutral. Cool. Neutral. Cool. Cool's just a little tiny bit brighter maybe, but I'm kind of liking the neutral a little bit better myself. It's, the colors look a little more natural. I know there ain't much color out here in this grass, but I don't know if you can tell side by side either. But that is the Through Night TH01. I appreciate everybody watching. I'm going to shut it down. The wind's blowing and I'm cold. And I will be seeing y'all next time.